Hello everyone, we're back again for another trans talk with our candidate number 24, representing Cagayan the Orange City, the ever beautiful Kirk Popiolek. Yes. Did I pronounce it well? Yes, you got it right. Thank you so much. Well, you know what, Kirk, I have to be honest with you. I am still in disbelief that I am, you know, sitting beside you. Um, a lot of a lot of my friends are actually looking forward for you to all of the pageants that you are joining. And um, they coded you as one of the fastest rising trans beauty can what do you say about it well i'm flattered but of course i feel the pressure since people are looking forward more about me and of course it's a little bit pressure since every time i join pageants they always look for me so i have to be extra careful with what i'm doing or i have to give it my best when i'm performing i love it um Aside from being the fastest rising trans beauty queen, you are also considered as one of the transgender who has the most wow. beautiful face wow. in the trans pageant industry. Um, could you tell me, because I know a lot of people are actually asking what are your beauty secrets, what are your hormones or HRT or stuff like that. Well, for those who are asking why I somehow look like um, uh, not purely Filipina, it's actually because my parents are both half-blooded. My mom is Filipino-Spanish and my dad is Filipino-American. So that's why I kind of have these features. But talking about HRT, I've been using um, the YAD and of course, um, uh, male blocker. Yeah. All right, just the two of them? Yes, and also collagen. Yeah, collagen by Brilliant. That's my number one secret. So now at least everyone knows exactly what are your beauty secrets. Yeah. Now, last question, because I'm not going to take much of your time. Um, last question. What do you think are the three qualities for you to ring on the crown and be, um, you know, be declared as Miss Mandarigma 2023? Well, the three qualities I, that I have to be able to bring home the crown is the ABC. That is the attitude, beauty, and charm attitude first because when we're looking and we're talking about Miss Mandarigma, it's about someone who can be an image and a beacon of hope for everyone. Someone who fights not just for herself but for everyone. And letter B is beauty because of course you are the face of Miss Mandarigma Philippines. And lastly is the charm. The charm that can capture and captivate a lot of people that you can let them really look at you and say she is a true embodiment of Mandirigma. I love that. You know what, Eric? Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to have oh, your I interview. I want saying thank you. It's my honor being here, and of course, thank you so much, Trans fans, for this opportunity. I've been looking forward for this moment to happen, and finally, it happened, right? Well, it is indeed this destined to happen. Yeah. Well, again, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And good luck. I hope the next time that I'll be seeing you is that the crown is within your hand. Oh head. my God! Hoping and praying. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you.